we want to maintain a manufacturing footprint in Australia. We're committed to that, the owners are committed to that, so you know you need to react to that. The, the basic principles haven't changed in a millennium. Um, the processes have changed, there is a bit more automation coming into it and, and whatever, but the basic principles of what you're doing haven't really changed. Keech is very clear on the fact that we don't look at competition just locally. We, we rate ourselves and mark ourselves uh, uh, against global competition. And as a consequence, we need to look for things that gives us, give us flexibility, allow us to be quicker to market, allow us to be, uh, in that often abused word, innovative, uh, because innovation sits across a whole company, uh, but to be very quick with our adaptation to market demand. This is a, uh, a wind generating uh, turbine blade for a startup company that uh, we deal with. They sent us a, a set, a six and a set. We 3D printed those in polycarbonate. Uh, they took them, carried out field tests. The data that they got from that allowed them to make some tweaks. We printed another set and I think we're on about the fifth, fifth set now. Traditionally that would have been made with uh, a, the fiberglass or carbon fibre process. To do that he would have had to have tooling made. The tooling might have taken four to six weeks at, at a, a cost um, and then he would have had to make changes to that tooling as the design was uh, improved. With our process, no tooling, he had it within a week um, and if he needs changes made we can reprint another one within a week. We don't ever see additive manufacturing as replacing traditional manufacturing techniques. What we say is it complements it. There are parts that we can make now that could never have been made any other way. We're currently working uh, with a, a university on um, some technology that they've been researching in the medical field, and we, I can't say too much about it at the moment, obviously, but uh, these parts could not be made in any other way. So the business model will be terrific because it's scalable. Once we've produced these parts, uh, if we need to, if we can produce 10 a week, and the market wants 100, we go out and buy 10 more 3D printers and the, the business model stacks up. I've worked for a German company for a number of years and I have seen their pro pro progression, uh, particularly when times were tough uh, in Europe and how they dealt with that. It's not always about cutting salaries, it's about improving productivity, it's improving process. The other thing is listening to customers, what is it really that they want? Great example of that is a car manufacturer in Germany who actually adopted uh, 3D printing as a, res a response to massive market uh, competition. And they now can offer a customer a unique car because they've got 3D printing. So if you want uh, you know, red armrests or whatever else, they'll print that for you because it's, not exp it's too expensive to make one-off type uh, mod uh, prototypes, but with 3D printing, that all of a sudden becomes a possibility. So you can go to your customer, and I call that uh, mass production on the individual level. And that is exciting. And we can learn that here in Australia. Manufacturing is under pressure. There are, we have things working against us, the extremely high Australian dollar, but we also have a lot of things working for us. We're intelligent. We've got a terrific workforce. We've got terrific universities. And what we need to do is to say, how do we lead them? This is, this is a potential to assist us in this area. Why give up? The argument about a small economy, I can't accept that. You know, a very short distance from Darwin, we've got 420 million people living up. A bit further than that, there's another billion people. Go a bit west, uh, east and you've got another billion people. You know, we should be tapping those markets, we should be understanding those markets, and we should be providing uh, products to those markets. There's a, there's a warning here. I think if Australia loses manufacturing, then that manufacturing will not be uh, reinstated very quickly. Uh, manufacturing is an underpinning, as agricultural is, as the resource industry is. But there are three key industries that somehow must be kept stable in Australia and must have the potential to grow.